the Robinhood API actually has probably my favorite uh, bit of documentation you know, as compared to Y Finance and Alpaca. And it's like that for very simple reasons. And this is more preference than anything. It's, it doesn't have a lot to do with functionality, but more focus on the uh, the, the way this is set up and the way I, my brain works, I guess. But you know, with their calls, it's, it's very similar. Uh, I would say some of theirs is broken out to show you how to log in and out uh, if you want to get stock information as compared to get, uh, getting positions and account information. You will find these in different sections. Uh, for this section, this is again what was included on the slide before we jumped into this, but we're going to look for uh, historical information for securities. So if you, you want to follow along, go ahead and go to that link that was shown. And we're going to actually focus on getting stock historical. So I'm just going to use Control F. So so that I can get to that uh, that call as we scroll down here through the long list of calls that are available to you through the the Robinhood stocks API but you know for this you're gonna have that that same similar feel and we'll show you what that looks like on the coding side because uh, it, it can look a little different you know just because they don't have the specific example there's just more documentation showing you the call and how to pass it but you know our, our coding example will get you through that and then uh, this is a very very good resource for showing you uh, uh, what to input, and I think it, it, it makes it very clear, right? So, in this, we're going to use uh, Robinhood dot stocks dot get stock historicals. We're going to pass it uh, in this example one input symbol. You can pass multiple. Uh, so, so again, this is why I like this so much, is because you can pass it a string or a list, and it's very clear on uh, what these what these can be. But for ours, we're going to pass it a a single stock. We're going to give it an interval. We're going to give it a span, very similar to what you saw with our Alpaca call. Um, and then we're, we're going to run that and assign it to a data frame, um, just like we did with the last so that we can easily massage that. So again, this is something I, I recommend coming in here, uh, making changes when you, you get to the coding section and actually reviewing uh, some of these calls, what they do. Uh, this, some of this can differ, some of the, re, the, the calls, the, the recall, the data that comes back when you assign it, it's gonna differ. So again, it, not all APIs are alike, not all APIs are gonna return the same, uh, the same uh, uh, format of information. So, you know, that can be pretty important when you're, you're going off to do this on your own. If you find different financial sources, you're going to want to keep that in mind. And this documentation is going to be very key to you understanding that. So in this section, you know, that's why, again, another reason why I like this so much is because it, it tells you not only what you need to pass it and what that format is, which you'll find with a lot of these, it also tells you what the return looks like. So it returns a list of dictionaries, and that's very important for you to know so that you can um, do your web searches on, hey, when I get a dictionary back, how do I convert that to a data frame, or how do I convert that so I can only have one section of this dictionary? Um, so, so just keep that in mind as you you're looking through this, and if you want to try to grab different pieces of information and take the code, I mean, feel free to come in here. There's options, options information. There's uh, quotes. There's getting ticker information for symbols. Um, you know, I, I've got certain things where I've built where I like to trade options, and I come in here and find options by expiration and price. And you can see, you know, it's it's very similar to what you're looking for, but you can pass it strike prices if you want to know what the what that looks like on that option chain so um, very great documentation I think by Robin Hood and you know not just for the call itself but for also teaching you what these API's do how to call them what information to give them and then what comes back to you so now let's go ahead and jump over to our live coding example